I've tried to explain it with history. I've tried to explain it with science. I've tried to explain it with common sense. No one's gonna listen. But here's the cold hard fact. This human cell right here was ionized by a particle that cannot be found in Earth's atmosphere. It's not in Earth's magnetosphere at all. It is only found outside of Earth's magnetosphere, and only the world's leading particle physicist from GSI, Marco Durante, can create such a particle. He was asked by NASA, ESA, Roscosmos, every space-bearing nation to solve the problem of radiation exposure in space. And what he did was he took one of those particles they made with projected data they gave him, and he shot it into this cell. And this cell was ionized instantly. Not long duration, it's not going to take a long time for it to happen, it's fucking instant. And as soon as this happens, you cannot produce functional RNA. You get cancer, it's fatal, you die. There's no treating this. You know why? Because this one cell is grouped up of a great assortment of particles. And every single one of those particles, there's a particle that's heavier out in deep space that will ionize it. The end. That's why, at 25,000 miles out, 99% of the mass and energy goes around the Earth, and only 1% makes it through the bow shock. And that 1% from all of the electromagnetic reconnection that happens within Earth's magnetic fields because of the Earth's magnetosphere, from the neutral point to the plasma sphere to the magnetosheath, that 1% only filters and gives us 1% of that 1% at 6,250 miles when the atmosphere starts, and that ionosphere pushes that 1% of the 1% down onto us. That's why passive shielding, why Apollo only went 230 miles up, why Artemis is only going 230 miles up, why the International Space Station and all space-bearing nations stop 230 miles up, because 1% makes it through all the electromagnetic reconnection points in those bands and comes into Earth's atmosphere. So that's 100%. 1%? Now, 1% of that 1% is what the International Space Station is exposed to. They never see these particles. They never experience the radiation that's outside of Earth's 6,250-mile 6, barrier. They never go 25,000 miles out to where 100% of the mass is. It's not a matter of flying fast through it. You die instantly in 100% if the 1% of the 1% is dangerous and we have to shield against it with passive shielding, transitional metals, polymers, hydrogen-based solutions, all of these systems that we've created to say that, yeah, radiation in space exists, but we can shield from it only because we're getting 1% of the 1% that makes it through the bow shock of the magnetosphere. This is what happens if you don't, and this is why no one else in the world will even attempt it. Showstopper. The end. You can't go to the moon. This is why. Showstopper.